Hello learners and welcome to our class today. We have been studying measuring business performance. In our last lessons, we've been talking about types of different types of ratios, the different types of ratios. So in our today's class, we consider the last type of ratio, which is the growth. These are types of ratios. Our last type will be the growth or valuation, valuation ratios, growth or valuation ratios. These ratios indicate the growth potential of the firm in addition to determining the value of the firm and investment made by various investors. The ratios indicate the growth potential of the firm in addition to determining the value of the firm and investment made by various or potential investors. These ratios include, number one, the earnings, the earnings per share, earnings per share. The first ratio is the earnings earnings per share abbreviated as EPS earnings per share and the formula is as follows the earnings per share is equal to the earnings attributable attributable to shareholders divided by the number of shares the number of shares so earnings per share you simply take the earnings after tax the earnings attributable to the shareholders the profit after deducting tax and interest so that the remaining amount which is attributable to the ordinary shareholders you divide by the number of shares that gives you the earnings per share earnings per share then number two the second ratio i remember we say that this earnings uh, per share indicates the earnings power the earnings power of the firm, that is, how much earnings or profits are attributable to every share held by an investor. Okay? By an investor. So that the higher the EPS, the higher the EPS, the better. The higher the EPS, the better. Number two is the earnings yield earnings yield the earnings yield is our second type number b earnings yield abbreviated as ey earnings yield and is determined as follows the earnings yield should be equal to the eps EPS divided by the MPS. MPS. The MPS is the market price per share. The market price per share. Earnings yield is equal to the EPS divided by the MPS. The EPS is a ratio that in, uh, indicates the returns or earnings for every one shilling invested in the firm. It is a ratio that indicates the returns or earnings for every one shilling invested in the firm. Then you have the dividend per share. Another ratio is a dividend per share. Dividend per 
per share abbreviated as dps dps and how calculate the uh, how do you calculate the dps dps is equal to the dividends paid dividends paid divide by the number of shares number of shares dividend per share simply take the total dividends paid divide by the number of shares invested in the company dividends per share this indicates the cash uh, dividend paid for every share held by an investor so that uh, if all the earnings attributable to ordinary shareholders were paid out as dividend then uh, the EPS will be equal to the DPS okay so the dividend per share is equal to the total dividends paid over the number of uh, shares held and sometimes EPS is saying here that sometimes EPS can be equal to the DPS. This can be so where all the earnings per share, I mean where all earnings are paid out as dividends. Because uh, just to illustrate this, uh, just to illustrate to help you understand that point, this is what I mean. In the preparation of the income statement, we have the gross profit. Then after deducting expenses, you'll have your earnings before tax. Earnings before tax. If you remove the tax, you'll have earnings after tax earnings after tax earnings after tax all right then assuming uh, there are no preference shareholders you only have ordinary shareholders these earnings after tax depending on the dividend policy of the company uh, these earnings per tax the managers can decide to pay part of these earnings per shares as dividends. They can decide to pay, uh, propose 20% of the earnings to pay the shareholders dividends amounting to 20% of the earnings. So that will mean that uh, you'll have here, um, this will be the dividend paid out pay 20% of the earnings, that will be the dividend. Alternatively, alternatively, the managers may decide that all these earnings, they can propose that all the earnings be paid to the shareholders in form of dividends. So that's why we are saying in, in that case, then the earnings paid out will be equal to the dividends received by the shareholders. In that case, the EPS will be equal to the DPS. This only happens when all the earnings are paid to the ordinary shareholders in form of dividends. So the dividend per share will represent the number, uh, the amount of share, or the amount of money paid per share, the amount of money paid per share. So the uh, ratio indicates the cash dividend received for every share held by an investor, by an investor. Then another ratio is the dividend yield, the dividend yield, dividend yield the dividend yield is our ratio number four 
dividend this is d dividend dividend yield the dividend yield now dividend yield will be equal to the formula for dividend yield is simply the dividend per share divided by the market price per share. Dividend yield is equal to the dividend per share divided by the market price per share. Dividend yield is equal to the DPS over MPS. Where, uh, uh, alternatively, 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 or, or, alternative formula is dividend paid, the total dividend paid over the total market value of shares total market value of shares so you take the dividend the total dividends paid this is total dividend divided by the total market value of shares where where the total market value the market value is simply the number is equal to the number of shares the number of shares times the market price per share market value this denominator is equal to the number of shares you multiply by the market price per share so that is an alternative uh, way of determining the dividend yield alternative way of determining the dividend yield and we have said that the dividend yield is a ratio that indicates the cash dividend returns for every one shilling invested in the farm for every one shilling invested in the farm then our next ratio is the um, price earning ratio number this is five price earning that is pe p e ratio p e ratio how do you determine the price earning ratio the price earning ratio is equal to the MPS, the market price per share, divided by the earnings per share. Price earning ratio is equal to the market price per share divided by the uh, earnings per share. The PE is simply a reciprocal of the earnings yield. This PE is a reciprocal. You can see this reciprocal, the reciprocal of the earnings yield. You see the EPS here is the um, numerator. When you come to price, earning is the denominator. <laughs>